This is the plaintiff, Martin Jr. Leon. He says his brother, the defendant, cold clocked him in the face one night after an argument and broke the bone in his eye socket. He had to have emergency surgery. A plate needed to be installed under his eye to hold it together. And his terrible brother owes him $5,000 for medical bills and pain and suffering. This is the defendant, Michael Mariano Leon. He says his brother, the plaintiff, was very intoxicated and he was trying to fight his sister. His brother ended up shoving him when they began to argue, so he fought back and punched him in self-defense. He only punched him to protect himself and doesn't feel like he owes anything. He's accused of clocking his brother. All parties, please use your right hand. City, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Martin Leon, you are suing your brother, Michael Mariano Leon, for $5,000 in medical bills and pain and suffering that you say happened at his hands on none other than Christmas Day. Tell me what happened. It was Christmas Day. It was my birthday. We were having fun. Yeah, we were all having a good time until my cousin where came. Were, where was the party? We were at my sister's house. We were having all a good time. Everybody was having a good time. He was having a good time. I was having a good time. Basically, we all having a good time. And then my cousin, the, the gangbanger from Compton, he comes over to my sister's house on my birthday, on Christmas, comes over, drinks my bottle, and starts eating my food, and starts tripping on me. And I tell him he needs to leave my sister's house, and that's when he gets rowdy and starts, you know, and the argument starts pushing, and uh, that's when his girl got in it and said, don't do nothing to Mono, don't do nothing to Mono, start shoving me, and his girl pushed me real serious to the point where I really got mad, and she started, like, kind of low-key swinging and stuff. What's low-key swinging? Kind of, like, almost like this, you know? Okay. But I'm backing up, and uh, so I tell him, he tells me, I'm gonna take you home, come down, brother, you know, everything's gonna be all right, and, and I, tell, I tell him, I don't want your, your girl in my house no more. She is not welcome there because of what she did to me. Now, you live with your mother. Yes. Who is also his mother. Yes. Whose house is it, yours or hers? No, it's my mother's. Okay. Yeah. So you say to your brother, your girlfriend is not welcome. I tell him, your, right. your girlfriend is not welcome in my property. Okay, so. So he decides he's gonna take you home. Has he been drinking too? We're all drinking, Your Honor. Okay. Let so he decides that he's going to drive you home. So then what happens? Okay, we get home, and, and the girlfriend gets out of the car, and she locks me in the car and runs inside my house. How does she lock you in? With the keys automatic, she locks me in. And you can't get out? No, I'm trying to open it, and I'm like, what the hell? And then she- Is your brother in the car? Yeah, he's not doing nothing, just on his phone, like nothing. And then she runs inside my property, which I already told him that she's not allowed, and he said, okay, she's not allowed, and my mom don't even want her in there. She ran in there, arguing with my mom. My mom is not paying attention Arguing to Arguing with your mom about yeah. what? Yeah, my mom told her, I don't want to hear nothing. Get out of my property. And she did not want to leave. I finally got the what door. What time of the night was this? It was like 12, like at 12, 11, 12, 1. Uh, your mom had not gone to her daughter's, to your my sister's? My mom was at my house. She was waiting for me to come home. Right. Had she not been at the party? My mom? Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. Well, how come? I'm just curious. My, mom, she not my, my mom don't want to, she she don't, my mom's an old lady, she's... Okay, so it's a cousin thing her, as opposed to a Christmas generation home. thing. Yeah, her mom watches her watching soap opera at home, you okay. know? so go on. So we're... How old's your mom? My mom is uh, 54, I take care of her, you know? <laughs> yeah. How old are you? I'm, I'm 30. Yeah, by 30, 54 shouldn't sound it's that old. Well, my mom is, is, is... You know I'm older than your mom, right? I take care of my mom. I cook okay, for my mom. Okay, but you know I'm older than your mom. I clean for my mom. I, I do everything for my mom. You know that I'm older than your mom. Oh, that's okay. I don't... I mean... Okay. <laughs> I'll cook and clean for you, too. It's okay. okay. <laughs> so, All right, uh, so what honor, happened? So, so I run in the house. How do you get out of the car? Uh... You know what? I really don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe really? you were just drunk and couldn't no, get out no. of the car. She and locked lock it you. with the keys because I heard... Well, then how did you get out? I, I finally, I did like this, I heard, you know, I... Okay, anyway, finally, so you get out, and what happens? I happened? get out, I go in the house, she's trying to tell my mom, like, like things, cheesemiss, like... What uh, is she cheesemiss about? She's trying to tell about? my mom, like, 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 her side of the story, trying to, I don't know, I guess. And that, My mom's like, get out of here, get out of my house, I don't want to hear you. And I'm like, I'm like, Cynthia, get out, can you get wait, out, Wait, wait, what, what did your hand just do? Oh, nothing, I didn't touch her, I'm just going like this, I'm like, could you please get out? I'm trying to guide her out, 
And okay, but I'm, did your hand touch her? In not any at all. I'm okay. going like this. Could you please get out of my house? And I'm, okay. she's getting all up in my face and I'm going like this with her fat stomach. And I'm like, you know, so I'm like, okay, now you're pushing me. And now I'm, pu- I'm going to, I gently guided her out of my house, out of my property, inside my house. And then she ran to, she ran outside. Okay. And she went and told him that I hit her. And he came back running in. And when I was going to my room, he, my mom, I didn't know nothing. I blacked out. My mom said that he pulled me by the sweater, ripped my brand new sweater that my mom brought me for my birthday. He ripped me, threw me on the ground. He punched me up like, like 10 times in my eye. He broke my bone. I had emergency surgery done. I had to go to two hospitals. Now I got a metal plate right here for the rest of my life. All because his girlfriend lied. He couldn't even go in there and just talk to me. His- All because he hit you. All because the girlfriend went and said that I hit her. Right. And, and it's a lie. Like, I got my mom right here ready to right. go. Right. But that, assuming she told him that? Yes. That doesn't justify him busting your eye orbit. Exactly. Do you understand? So yes. it's, he's still the guy who busted the eye orbit. Now, give me the, all of the medical reports for Everything's everything that here. happened. And when no, he, no, I don't just want One more a big thing, Your Honor, that my mom wanted me to tell you. While he was hitting me in the face and hitting me on the ground, he, he made my mom had a, a, a blood pressure attack. And my mom fell on the ground shaking real bad. And that's when he stopped hitting me. My mom wanted me to tell you this. He's Did a bad son. Did your mom son. give an affidavit? He wouldn't stop hitting me. I need you to listen to my question. Did your mom send anything in writing for me to read? She, she got her number. She said, if you want to call her, no, she's ready. She want to talk to you. I want two things. I want, so look through your paperwork and give me two things. One is the police report from that night, and the other are the medical records. According to you, what happened? Well, the issue all started at uh, my sister's house, right? Long Beach, California. So everybody's getting intoxicated, like he said. Uh, I go to the bathroom for a little while. I go back, and I see him and my cousin, like, all up in each other's face. So then from there, I went ahead. I I tried to separate them. I told them, like, you guys don't fight or nothing. I tell him, okay, it's fine. Thing, let's just leave. Let's take you home. I don't want to start any problems. On the way home, we get home. I didn't drive, Your Honor. I was intoxicated. Who First drove? Of all, my, my, the mother of my child did. She drove us home. So we get there, and the door's not locked, Your Honor. Obviously, are you <laughs> still dating her? Yeah. Oh uh, well, right now we're actually separated. Okay. She doesn't want to be with me at the moment because of the issue that's going on right now. I mean. Okay. So course, what happened? So you get to the house. We got to the house. Uh, the door wasn't locked. He he could have got out whenever I, I, he wanted I, to. I believe that's probably <laughs> the case. But okay. why is she running out into Mm-mm. his house to talk to your mother? Out of respect, it was it was Christmas, Your Honor. She wanted to get off and tell my mom Merry Christmas. Did she? Because what she was saying instead was talking about the problem. That's she, not very merry. She went inside just to tell her Merry Christmas, you know. Except for that's not what she did. She went inside and she talked about the problem. From what she told me, she went in there and she said. Why didn't you get out? If you knew that there was already him screaming, I don't want her in there, and she had gone in there and then he had gone in there, wasn't it obvious there was going to be a problem or you were too drunk? What I, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to step in on that situation because I knew things were going to escalate. Well, you sure stepped so, into the situation later, So what you? I did, no, what I did is I went in, like, after that had happened. You went in after she came out. She what did came, she tell you when she came she out? She came out crying, saying that he grabbed her and he tossed her out the house, Your Honor, like a dog. Okay, and what and did I you go do? In and I go in and I'm telling him, like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, bro, you know? So he starts telling me, you get the f*** out of my house. You don't belong in my house. You're not welcome in here. His house. He doesn't even pay rent, Your Honor. He, had, he doesn't pay taxes, you know? So I go in, and he shove, he's shoving me out. And we have a, a history uh, together. Since I was 14, I've been fighting this man off. I've Who's been, the older one? He's the older one, Your Honor. Okay. I'm only 25 years old right now. So me as a 14-year-old kid, I'm Okay, I'm I don't want to hear about your 14-year-old kid. Okay, okay, Your Honor. Well, I want to hear about how you put a plate in his eye. Okay, That's so. That's where I'm going. I went in, and he's he's grabbing on me, trying to force me out and whatnot. So he, he like, raised his hands on me really good. That's where I What was does just, that mean? Show me with your hands like, what he did. He was like... Like, you know? Okay. So once he did that, I mean, he's intoxicated. And I'm like, oh, wow, he, he's going to do something to me. So I just reached back real quick. And I seen that coming. I'm like, oh, get away from me. And I gave him one good one, Your Honor. Okay. So your testimony is. Just stop. Everybody stop talking. Your testimony is that you went into the house to confront them about throwing out your girlfriend like a dog and putting his hands on her. And that while you're arguing with him, he starts to shove you out of the house so you punch him once. That's your testimony. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, let me see the police report. 
you have pictures of your injuries? The police wouldn't release them to me because they said it was an open case. What's going on with the case? I mean, they said if he was, a, I mean, we're going to drop it. I don't know. Somebody. Why would you drop it? It's my brother. You know, I really don't want to, like, it's my brother. Wait, you know? did you get arrested? No, Your no. Honor. So the issue is, are you going to press charges I was, I was or not? Gonna, he, he yeah, got, but at some point, what happened that night? Did the police say, do you want to press charges? What oh, happened? Oh, oh, oh he, he booked it. He ran. Right. But did the po was there ever an arrest warrant for him? Nah, I don't, I, not that I know. I, don't, I was rushed to the emergency room. I understand. I but usually the police follow up and then they call you I and they say, what do you want to do? I, my bone was... Did you, I want you to listen to my question. Couldn't talk. When the police call you and you eventually can talk, mm -hmm. because I know that eventually yes. you could talk. When the police yes. call you and follow up on this, do you tell them, I I don't want to pursue this. No, nah, yeah, I did. I want. I, I told him I want to press charges on him. He needs to I learn. I don't want to press charges. I wanted to. You wanted to. Yeah, because all right. He needs so to then, learn why lesson. is it nothing has happened? That's what I'm curious about. Because like, at first when he hit me, I didn't know the injury was like so serious until they, you know, until they. Oh, it's pretty damn serious. Yes, I didn't know yeah. that. So, in, in fact, what happened is you broke your brother's eye socket. Yeah. You broke the bone in his eye socket. I have metal in and my face. Stop. No. Talk to me. Don't do that. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. If you had a brother who physically assaulted you, even broke a bone, would you sue him for medical bills? Absolutely. Flesh and blood? Absolutely. Someone attacks you, no matter who it is. What do you say? Sure. Yeah. Anybody wouldn't? I wouldn't. Why? Because it's family. But look what family did to you. Yeah, people change. Wow, okay, okay, going inside the courtroom. You broke the bone in his eye socket and he now has a metal plate. That's what you did to your brother. You wear mm -hmm. that? He sent me a text, as a matter of fact, and stating, told you stating what? what happened, stating what happened so to his cheekbone. So you know the extent of the injury. Exactly, yeah. So yes. during that time, has there ever been a moment of reflection where regardless of whether you think you were justified, which we'll talk about in a moment, Ever, a moment of reflection, we say, hey, bro, man, I'm really sorry. Ever? Has that ever happened? I never replied back to him, Your Honor, because the fact is he went straight to claiming a, suit, a lawsuit on me. So the way that I felt was, let's just take it to court and we'll just handle it out like that, Your Honor. Because I felt like as if I, I mean, I'm being targeted right here, you know? That's all how, that's how yeah, I let's, feel. Let's talk about what the witnesses said to the police that night. Because in the, in the police report, there's two people other than you two talking. One is your girlfriend and the other one is your mother. They have whited out the names of the girlfriend and the mother, but it's very obvious who's who. And here's what it says your girlfriend said to the police. Okay, while Martin and Blank were having a conversation, Blank walked inside of the residence. Martin told Blank she was not welcome inside the residence and she had to leave. This is obviously your girlfriend. The second time. The girlfriend was upset and walked out of the residence. Not one word about he manhandled me, he pushed me, he hit me, nothing. <laughs> Martin began to walk towards his room and heard, I presume they whited out your name, yell, why you telling my girl things? As soon as Martin turned around, you punched him on the right side of his face, punched him numerous times, causing him to fall to the floor. Martin fell on his back and content you continued to punch him in the face. And now here is your mother's testimony. The girlfriend walked in. Martin told her she wasn't welcome inside the residence and had to leave. The girlfriend was upset and walked out. And as Martin started to walk to his room, you walked in and began to punch him in the face numerous times, causing him to fall to the floor. He fell on his back and you continued, this is your mother, continued to punch him in the face. And you were mounted on top of him as you prayed. This is your brother on his birthday and Christmas. Proud of yourself? <clears throat> Putting your mother through this? Uh, your no, Your Honor. This? I really didn't put her through anything. It's, oh, I think it, you did. It was a Now let's talk about what you actually did with your one punch that you say that your own mother who brought you into the world says is a lie. Says you kept punching him while he was down. Let's talk about what you did. You broke the bone in his face. Where you broke it was in his eye socket. All of it. It broke. All of it cracked. All my cheekbone cracked. It fractured. Where's the rest of the police support? Because one of the things you're suing for is the medical bills. Where are the medical bills? Oh, I have, I have the picture. Just give right me now. the whole folder. You have epilepsy? Yes, I'm, I'm, I guess, and he knows you that. You punch your brother in the head and he has epilepsy? I'm diagnosed with epilepsy, Your Honor. Left orbital floor blowout fracture. Intraorbital contents retrieved. 
from maxillary sinus. They had to pick the pieces of the bone following plating with a 3D contoured plate. They had to put a metal plate on him. All he did in a drunken, angry stupor is go like this. But what you did was savage. It was savage. And it had a huge consequence for him. And honestly, I usually am the person trying to talk family down to bridge their day. But I don't understand why he doesn't prosecute you to death. He should be prosecuting you. He should, I don't mean a lawsuit like this. This is nothing. You should be criminally prosecuted for what you did. And you don't seem the slightest bit contrite or sorry about it. I am sorry, Your Honor. Are you? Have yes, you ever told your brother how sorry you are you put a metal plate in his face? I tell you the truth, him taking me to court for this situation. Are you serious? Do you think that him suing you for his pain and suffering and medical bills is bigger than you causing him the pain and suffering and medical bills? Can no. you possibly really think that? No, Your Honor. You think maybe if there had been the slightest bit of brotherly love afterwards, even if in your head it was justified, if you said, oh my God, I went too far, I'm so sorry, I, I, I can't believe this happened, visit him in the hospital the next day, if you try to, do you think that there would be a prosecution pending potentially against you and a civil case against you? Do you think that you would have met me? No, Your Honor. Exactly. But you did. So now it is my turn to do a little justice. I find in your favor for $5,000, every bit of it. Pay the man. I just, want, I just want to say one thing, Your Honor. Can I say one thing to you, please? Man, I, I, even, even after he did that to me, the next day I texted him, brother, let's, let's talk about this. I don't want to take you to court. I, I, you know, I accept this. He still, still didn't want to do it. He's the animal. He's the animal, not me. Well, no question here. The plaintiff does prevail for $5,000. Uh, Michael, let me just ask you, what, number one, you heard what the judge said. She thinks your brother should be really charging you with uh, serious aggravated I assault. I understand it's just the, the test, the, as far as the test, the witnesses, uh, like, they're very close together, you know, mother and, and son. Well, let me just ask you, I think everybody would want to know, do you think there's ever any hope of having any kind of peaceful relationship? Oh, yeah, I love my brother. I have love for him. You know, in the future, we'll see how it goes. Well... I think you got to learn how to show it to him because <laughs> you haven't done a very good job so far. I'll try my best in the future. All right. You can sign a few documents on your way. It cost you $5,000. That's an expensive night you had and a painful one for, for Martin. Martin, you know, he, I know how you feel. Man, all I got to say is I'm a good guy. I take care of my mother, and uh, that's why I still live with my mother, or else my mother would have kicked me out, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's all I got to say about do, that part. Do, do you think you can ever have a relationship? Oh, with yeah, man. When the, the second day he did that to me, I texted him, you know, we don't got to go to court for this. Let's, let's, you know, let's talk about this. You're my brother. You're my little brother. I love you. And I hope we do uh, make up because we were real tight. We were tight. We were, you know, we like white on rice until that girl stepped into the picture. That's all I got to say. Good luck to you. you okay. Too. Thank you very much. Doug, I gotta tell you, this is a felony assault, and this defendant is lucky.